okay? It is raining outside, it's gross outside. So we're gonna do something here in the office. First of all, for you, for me. We're gonna look at my YouTube analytics. I like to do this content because I used to be really interested in this content, still kind of am. When I first started YouTube, I was very interested in the behind the scenes stuff and like how much were people making. And it was hard to find information unless you're a YouTube channel that teaches people how to make money on YouTube. They put out all their analytics, but I'm like, I'm not gonna have a YouTube channel teaching people how to make money on YouTube. That's like, that's like saying the best way to be rich is to write a book about how to be rich. It's just, it doesn't make sense. So anyways, so to give context to this, the channel right now, first of all, it's about homesteading uh, and not even really good homesteading, basically walking around and seeing what plants I've killed recently. It currently has just under 4,000 subscribers. Um, of course, we know those aren't real. Those are bots. It's really just me and like you and my mom and, you know, 3,000 bots. But that's okay. That doesn't matter. If you don't want to go back and look at the last video I did about revenue and stuff like that, I think we ended in September. And in September, I made about $55. Not too shabby. And then the next month, going into October... I decided that I was going to try to post like every day and I didn't, it, I think it evened out to like every other day, but that was still a lot. That was a big uptick in posting for me because I wanted to see what would happen because this is not a super tech savvy type, uh, channel. I'm just going to literally point my phone at the computer and let you see that way. Can I do a split where I put my head up in the corner. Yeah, probably. Would it take a lot of time and be annoying? Yes. So this is just, we'll just go old school. You don't have to be super tech savvy to have a YouTube channel. Thank goodness. So let's take a look. All right. So this is where we left off. This was September. As you see, I made $55 and it got about 6,000 views and I had gained five subscribers during the month of September. Then going into October, that's when right here at the end of September, I said, I'm gonna start posting. So let's take a look at October there. All right, here we are in October. As you can see, I started posting a lot more frequently until I didn't. Um, <laughs> but look how interesting, I got 28,000 views. Um, I gained 400 subscribers. That's like so many and my revenue went up a lot, $212. That was way more, obviously. So obviously I was really excited to see that. And I was like, wow, we have real momentum. And I felt like it was getting more, it was gaining momentum as we were going. And then I did obviously what anyone would do when seeing that kind of momentum and building and excitement. I dropped off the face of the earth and stopped posting anything. Make sure you subscribe for more amazing YouTube strategies just like this. No, but seriously, I did. I dropped off the face of the earth and stopped posting. And that was for reasons which I talked about in another video. But it actually didn't have anything to do with YouTube. I do want to say that. Like, I didn't stop posting because the posting a lot was too much or whatever. I just had to drop some things. And that was one of the things I dropped. And what happened is what you would expect to happen. So for the next two months, I did put out like one video. That was me attempting to like keep going and then just stopped. So for the following two months from November through December, I made both months all put together $33. Takeaways from this. Number one, consistency does matter and it will greatly boost your channel if you're consistent. Number two, um, do I regret taking a break and not posting anything. I'm going to say no, I had to. I just, I could not do videos right then. So the good thing about this is YouTube, I feel like is a great platform for, you can take breaks. Will it negatively impact you? Maybe a little bit, but life is life. And if you need to take a break, take a break. Like <laughs> it's YouTube. And I can say this also because it's like, it's not like this is like my full-time job. We're not like supporting my family off of $15 a month or anything like that. My channel didn't disappear. I can come back and make videos and someone will see them. So that is really awesome. Basically, that was the experiment. The first part was post as much as you possibly can, what happens? And then the second, very unintended, not on purpose part was, what happens if you don't post at all? 
you still make money, just not as much. But isn't that great that I still made money even when I wasn't posting anything at all? That's crazy and very, very awesome. One thing I'm trying to do is figure out, figure out how to be sustainable on YouTube because I feel like I do this. It follows a pattern throughout the year where I'll post a lot or at least a good amount and then all of a sudden just like post nothing. And that's not really great. And I know there's a lot of people who schedule their posts. There are people who are so scheduled. It's it's amazing. And they'll be like, I put out a video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday without fail. And I'm like, that is amazing. And I understand the concept of like batch um, producing your videos and then scheduling them. And I don't know why I just I just don't do it. <laughs> Maybe we're just not there yet, but it's just, I just don't do it. In case you'd ever wondered, this is what um, this size channel in this niche, and everyone's different. Perhaps this size channel in this niche with different videos, maybe they make a whole lot more. Maybe they make a whole lot less. I don't really know. It seems very personalized per channel as to how much money you can make, and even per video, how much money you make. But I would like to just represent what I'm seeing. This is what I'm seeing as far as revenue and views and stuff like that with what I'm doing right now on this channel. Yeah, that's it. I'm feeling a lot better. I really am. I'm hoping to get back into uh, creating a lot more content and seeing, seeing how that goes. And soon there'll be a lot of dead plants for us to go look at. And won't that be just so exciting? So cheers. Thank you for being here. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you later.